hey what's up guys welcome to a new video it's your boy tommy day and in today's video i am going to be showing you guys how to use my new texture pack and in this texture pack i have six textures included right and i created this texture pack because on my other texture videos where i showed you guys how to apply textures to plain backdrops a lot of people were requesting for um the texture i used and i usually create my own textures so i decided to like put this pack together you know that you could use for different things like now i have the busy texture high density i have also the busy texture low density i have the canvas marble linear patch rendered cement and stone like grains right so basically each texture i just named based on what they look like right so i am going to be using about two of them in this tutorial you know just so you guys can see how they work and how they would look on your final image okay so i'm going to use one for this image and i would say i would use this busy texture low density so all we have to do now is select it right and just drag and drop right and now we're going to rotate it right 90 degree and now we're just going to enlarge so it can fit the image okay so now the next one we're just going to do is we're going to change our blend mode and for this particular image you could play with a lot of the blend modes here actually but i usually stick to um overlay soft light and sometimes i use screen yeah screen like makes the textures like white and it's sort of inverted but there are some images where i like to use them and i'll probably use screen for one of the images today i use it majorly when the background is like really really dark right so okay so now i'm going to pick soft lights for this particular image and i usually like to like add depth to it yeah as you guys would tell people who have seen my other um, tutorials on how to apply texture so i come to filter blur gaussian blur and for this image i'll probably pick a radius of 40 and click ok right and now i'm going to reduce the opacity to maybe 40 okay yeah and now i'm going to create the layer mask because obviously the texture is also on the subject skin and outfit and we don't want that so now i'm going to pick my brush and i'm going to paint black to hide so like so like so like so like so like so for a more accurate um selection you could probably use your lasso tool for me i just like to use my paint brush tool and just paint like so right and that's just basically it paint out all the texture on the subject skin right and this is before after before after so you see it just has like this really nice texture and this depth to the image and i just really really like it i really really like it and i'm sure you would too <laughs> so that is for the first image so now let's go to another image right so this is another image i shot a while back and for this one i'll use my favorite texture in my pack which i even labeled my favorite so we just drag and drop right and also we're going to rotate this 90 and we're going to enlarge so it fits the image okay and we'll do the same thing here also i'm going to use soft lights right and i'm also going to come to filter blur version blur and 40 should i use 40 i, I feel like 40 is too much for this particular one probably is 30 yeah 30.3 okay and now i'm going to reduce the opacity so maybe let's see 40 
Let's see. Let's see. 50. Okay, I think I like 50. And now we're going to create a layer mask. And now we're going to pick our brush, right? And we're just going to paint out the texture like we did for the previous image. Like so. Okay. Like so, like so, right? Right? Okay, so this is before, after, before, after, as you guys can see. It just has like this really, really nice artistic look to the image. And I think we should do one more, but instead of using soft light, we'll use screen. And I'm going to use it for this image because as you guys can see, we have a darker plain background, right? So let's come here and I'll use, um, I think I'll use linear patch. Let's try linear patch for this image and just rotate it again. Like so and enlarge like so and now we're going to come to screen right <laughs> and now we're on screen we're also going to do the same thing we're going to go to filter blur gaussian blur and i would say maybe 21.9 is looking good okay and now we're going to reduce the opacity but this i'm going to reduce like way way lower so i'd say maybe 10 uh, let's see 15. i think maybe 12. yeah i think i like 12. right and now obviously we're going to do the same thing layer mask and pick our brush tool and paint this out of the subject skin right just paint it out right like so so this is the before after and i like this because you know the background is like really dark so i didn't like a lighter texture just makes it look really nice let me show you what it would look like if we used soft lights for soft light we can't even almost see it because the opacity is like really low so let's just say soft light and let's take it to opacity of maybe 40 yeah and this is what it would look like before after but i like the white kind of texture feel it gives us so i'm going to change it back to screen and opacity to 12 yeah so if you got to this um to the end of the video you're the real mvp and for those who like purchase the texture i'm sure you're going to really like it and it's also a way of supporting the channel right so yeah i'm going to see you guys in the next one i guess <laughs> cheers